Hi everyone, in this video I am going to talk about something very simple, very basic but it is very very important and that is the sorting algorithm and specifically I am going to talk about bubble sort uh, but the sorting algorithms are so near and dear to the software engineering interviewers that you as an interviewee would definitely not like to miss rehearsing or practicing the sorting algorithms, understanding their nuances, that is the time complexities and space complexities of different sorting algorithms and which one you should be using in which condition. So the video, uh, I'm going to focus on bubble sort and I have two implementations of it. One which is not optimized at all and the other one is, is optimized. Uh, and you know the, the implementation that I have to demo is in Java but the concepts are very simple you can implement it in any programming language that you prefer so let me jump right into uh, the video the demonstration that I'm going to demo in this video like I said you know I have two implementations bubble sort and bubble sort optimized uh, uh, and uh, you know my input is just simple the error is already sorted you know there isn't anything that my program should be doing and but uh, still the unoptimized one you would see that the time complexity of unoptimized one is uh, o n square and it would give the time complexity output as 16 4 into 4 16 the optimized one gives uh, the time complexity of O n in the best case that is uh, the time complexity that you would see would be 4 so you would definitely like to have you know an optimized solution you do not want your program to run when it is not needed to do any competition for you and you can imagine you know if, if the errors uh, are any, any bigger uh, the, the underperformance of your program uh, would be exponential in that case so let me just run the program to demo you what time complexities i'm getting with uh, the unoptimized one which is 16 and with the optimized one since this is best case there is fully sorted already the time complexity is 4. now for the For the worst case, and you know this is an area where the items are sorted in the reverse order, the time complexities would just be the same, which is expected. Now, supposedly, you know uh, your array is somewhat sorted and somewhat not not sorted. The optimized one would still uh, do less computation for you. So the transactions in the program, you know, are run 16 times. In the case of, uh, oh, I didn't change the array. Um, yeah, let me run it again. So yeah, the time complexity, no matter what you do in the unoptimized one is 16 and in the optimized one, it is slightly reduced because, you know, the array was somewhat sorted already. Now let's look at the implementation and what is the difference between one version which is not optimized at all, the other one which is optimized. So yeah, this is the first one. And bubble sort logic is, is the simplest uh, of all I would say. You have just two loops. One is the outer loop and in the inner loop you are comparing the present element to the next element. And if the present element is bigger than the next element, then you do the switch. And you keep doing that uh, for the inner loop and then for the outer loop. And that is how you get the time complexity of n into n um, in, in, the, in the case uh, of uh, this algorithm and in the not optimized uh, way of implementation. The optimized one, nothing really too scientific here you know I just introduced one flag and the responsibility of this flag is that if uh, in the inner loop there hasn't been any case 
where the present element is bigger than the next element that means probably the array was fully sorted out and what would happen is that you know the flag won't be turned on and uh, just outside of the inner loop I'm checking the flag well, flag value if it, if it has not been set that means that the array was uh, sorted and you know there is no need for the program to continue the outer loop and uh, that is why in the case of best case it still runs the inner loop uh, but it does not run any of the iterations um, for uh, the next iterations uh, planned otherwise so it just breaks out and that is how you get the time complexity of uh, 4 in this case great so I think you would have uh, liked the video if you have any questions do let me know I'm also going to prepare uh, similar videos for other sorting algorithms so stay tuned and uh, subscribe to my channel so that you get the notifications thank you very much